The MVF M11C Murasame from Gundam Seed Destiny is the pinnacle of Orb's mobile suit technology of the era. This transformable mobile suit is not only high flying, but also very inferior to all the Gundams that are fielded throughout the series, and it usually gets destroyed. Hello everyone, I'm the Spicer here for the Gunpla Network, and today we're taking a look at the high grade Murasame. This kit was provided to us by Canadian Gundam. Canadian Gundam is your one-stop shop for all things Gunpla and Playmo here in North America. Not only do they have a vast catalog, but a private warehouse and flat rate shipping to the US and Canada. When you're checking out that vast catalog and placing your next order, don't forget to use the promo code Gunpla Network to save 10% off. Now we're starting this review off in the transformed mobile fighter or mobile armor mode mostly because I had already transformed it just to take some pictures and this transformation is infuriating so just to save me the headache of transforming this again for a different part of the video it, this is where we're starting and it doesn't look bad I actually would kind of like to get another one so I can have one in this form and one in a regular mobile suit mode but the transformation is not good. <laughs> um, I don't really have anything against parts formations because I value stability quite a bit. But the parts formation here is very finicky and kind of a pain. Part of the issue initially for me was uh, I built part of the chest unit wrong so it didn't flip up the way it needs to. But for this you have to take off the head, you have to take out the waist piece, you have to take out the shoulder joints and remove the arms entirely and then pop a new piece back in where the hip piece went and all of that is kind of irritating and somewhat difficult to do just because a lot of those parts really don't like to come out but to add insult to injury if you do want to have the landing gear on you're going to be meeting three incredibly tiny pieces two of which are pretty easy to get off the kneecaps and one that's pretty difficult to get out of the shield. It is cool they included this, but it, it's practically not the easiest thing to use. Outside of that, it's fine, it's serviceable, it looks pretty good in my opinion. It's not something that I'm going to be leaving the one I have in this mode, but it is something I would like to pick up a second one just to have it in this mode, because it does look good, it's just not something I ever intend to transform back and forth regularly. Now once we get it into mobile suit mode, it looks pretty good. It does have a few issues in terms of the knees lining up sometimes, but working with them a little bit usually fixes that. I would say the other negative, which is kind of a personal preference honestly, are the stickers. Whether or not you enjoy stickers, you are kind of indifferent, or you hate stickers, it's pretty undeniable the stickers on here do not stick well because they almost all have to cover multiple surfaces from the shiny red ones on the arm and the chest to the black ones on the wings almost none of them like to stick and I've got a few pictures here that I'm going to cut in from the wings and the little binders on the legs of exactly what I'm talking about they don't like to stay stuck down and I am a hundred percent painting this once I'm done with the review because this is a really cool looking suit and something I think a lot of people sleep on, but these stickers do make this a little bit less enticing. Now mostly the biggest perpetrator are the black ones on the little winglets on the legs, the wings on the back, and then the little covers on top of the backpack. The one on the big red binder in the back is not too bad, it sticks down mostly pretty well, but if I'm going to go a bit painting this anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just take care of that regardless. The shiny ones on the arms do kind of peel up a little bit, but they stick down pretty solidly and you don't have to really worry about it. But once again, paint's always going to look better, unless you don't have metallic paint, in which case it's kind of your preference. And honestly, since there is red plastic on this kit that's not metallic, I think it would look fine in just a regular semi-gloss red. Same thing with the sticker on the chest, which is kind of the canopy of the jet fighter mode. Something that... I'm probably going to repaint, but I have red metallic paint, and I think this is one of the few things that actually being a red metallic sticker makes sense. So, a lot of the stickers are personal preference, but I will warn you, they don't like to stick very well almost at all. 
Now as we look at the top half of the kit in terms of detail, everything looks pretty good. You have nice little red vents that pop out in the chest. You have a nice looking head sculpt for the most part. I'm not a huge fan of the big gold sticker on the top, but it's a camera, it's fine. I'm not really all that concerned about it. The shoulders are a little bit less than be de desired just because they're very, very bland. If you do want to take a scribing knife to them, I think you could do some really cool stuff with it, but they're serviceable, they work, they're just nothing really to write home about. The metallic red stickers, like I said, are fine, and at least in these shots, are stuck down, so they work fairly fine. Nothing really too crazy going on here. The lower half, kind of the same thing. The stickers are the most notable just because they stick out the most. But you do have nice little extra things on the top of the front skirts where missile pods are. You do have some red moving parts in the front of the legs for the transformation, which is pretty cool. The kneecaps are kind of like an age two style where they're attached to the thigh versus being on their own separate floating piece. But once again, looks fine. It's not all that bad in, in dynamic poses. They don't draw a lot of attention, so you're not too concerned with them. Overall, you have some decent panel lining opportunities all over the kit, but mostly going to be on the legs and the wings, so kind of take with that as you will. If you do like a little bit more panel line heavy kit, this may be something you either want to scribe or maybe skip. Now once we get it all armed up, we do get a good look at the weapons, and the weapons actually look pretty cool. I will say the beam rifle does not like to stay in the hand, so either adding a little bit of super glue or polish or some... Uh, friction adding stickers wouldn't hurt here. Um, you also don't get a green or yellow or any kind of foil sticker for the uh, lens for the scope, which is a little unfortunate, but generally speaking, this beam rifle is nothing special to write home about. It is a little wobbly, you don't get a sticker, but overall it's very serviceable and it matches what is in the line art. Now you have the big shield, kind of very chunky Zeta feel here. It's cool for the transformation. I think it's a little bit too big for mobile suit mode, so I don't think I'll use it in posing, but it's there if you like it, and if you like big shields, this is right up your alley. You do have one beam saber hilt stored on the side skirt, and it works fairly well. You have a beam saber blade that comes with it. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And you have the four cool missiles on the back that are entirely molded in gray that come with no stickers. So. If you want them to be box art accurate, you are absolutely going to have to paint them, which is a little disappointing because some of them, uh, some of the detail is white, and white is not going to coat over that gray very well. But if you use some gray or some gunmetal or something else, I'm sure it will work just fine. Overall, it's a very standard grunt suit configuration with the addition of the missiles. Looks cool. Like it. It's very attached to the theme of the M1 Astray and a lot of the Orb Mobile suits, but with a little bit of a different spice to it, and I kind of like that. Now, as we kind of go through, before I get to the posing, kind of just a final thought here on the detail, this is a kit that I will absolutely understand if people pass. Uh, the stickers alone are kind of infuriating, but this is something I think that has a lot of potential to it. Something like this that's a grunt suit is a lot like a blank canvas. You have a lot of opportunity to do different things with it, whether it's painting or scribing or any kind of customization. And you do get the nice little decal stickers if you wanted to add some designations and insignias. So for any of you military modelers out there that like to do military aircraft or tanks or any of that stuff, this might be something that's right up your alley. If you're used to dry brushing or airbrushing on some different parts, you're not really going to be too worried about the stickers themselves. You have the insignias and you can add some cool flair to this that might not be too easy to add to a busier mobile suit or a Gundam. Now talking about that beam saber and the accessories, I have to say the beam saber is probably what I'm going to pose it with. It's the most stable by far and it has kind of the most expression just because it's a beam saber. You can have the wings splayed out, even in this mobile suit mode. They don't really get in the way. They work fairly fine. They do stick down a little bit much, so the side skirts may bump into them. But generally speaking, I think this is the most dynamic pose you're really going to get, or dynamic weapon, rather. 
The beam rifle's fine, but like I said, it's wobbly, so you don't really get a nice look right down the barrel, which is a little bit problematic if you're going for a really dynamic shooting pose. And the shield is going to be really hard to work around because of how big it is. So you're kind of stuck with either a static pose, a transformed pose for the mobile suit or mobile armor mode, or this for the mobile suit mode. It looks really good. A couple of effects here and there will absolutely add a lot of pop for photography. And if you've got some of the older Seed, Seed Destiny high grades, it actually fits in pretty well. Having built the M1 Astray, I actually think the M1 Astray is a little bit better in terms of its general articulation. But that's kind of part of the design, right? So this being transformable, some of its design is going to play into being a little limited in mobile suit mode, but it still pulls off a fairly good interpretation. Now, if we put it up here against the Savior Gundam that wrecked quite a few Murasames throughout the series, and I believe actually destroyed two Murasames when it's introduced into the series, we have ours going for some revenge here, and they look pretty good next to each other. I've painted up this Savior Gundam, but generally speaking, having them side by side works pretty well. Once again, Beam Rifle is going to be a bit of a problem here, and this was oddly enough a similar issue I had with the Savior. If the Beam Rifle just being too thin of a peg to fit in the hand so it was wobbly and it wouldn't stick, so I had to do quite a bit of... Uh, stickering and adding some extra super glue for some friction there but having these two go up against each other is a very natural and good look so if you have a couple of these they can team up on the savior gundam and maybe shoot down atherin save kira the trouble here we have it kind of spinning around with some of its contemporaries and of course maru ramius mostly just because i wanted to add this little figurine into this review i'm not gonna lie but generally speaking whether you're putting up with a high grade of a similar era or even the real grade red frame of straight, it doesn't look too out of place. It is a little simplistic, but it does have enough color separation and a couple of extra things here and there to where it doesn't feel entirely outshined by, say, the real grade red frame. Of course, they're going to be very noticeably different on the shelf, but if you have in a similar, have them both in a similar display with, say, like a high grade M1 Astray, they're really not going to be all that different, and they'll blend in pretty well together. So if you do like Orb Mobile Suits or Seed Era High Grades, this is something that's going to blend in well on your shelf. You're not going to have to worry about it being the center of the display, just more of an additional little piece to spice up what you've already got. Now if we take a look at Orb's shining gold star here in the High Grade Akatsuki, we do get to see how it stands up against kind of its leader grunt type situation with Kigali. And I have to say they actually look pretty good together. If you wanted to get one of these for mobile suit mode for your Akatsuki and then have another in fire mode, you can have a pretty cool little display. Even if you have the 1100 version of this with the gold plating, I would think these would still match pretty well. Of course, you're going to be a lot smaller, but it still adds to that overall kind of orb mobile suit design and they have not really a lot of similarities but they have enough common design doctrine if you will that you can kind of blend them and they're going to work pretty solid it looks really good with a lot of stuff and overall i would say if you're a fan of the high grade seed line and you're okay with things maybe not being the most detailed or maybe lacking in articulation for what is a pretty old high grade at this point it's pretty solid the stickers, yes, are kind of a pain, but honestly, if you're okay with a little bit of paintwork, I would say this is going to have a lot of potential for you, especially if you do want to add a little extra flair. But if you're really just straight out of the box, you're going to have to be okay with those stickers because there's quite a few of them and you're probably going to be pressing them down quite a bit. If you do like to leave things on your shelf, you may not notice it too much, but honestly... If you like this design, this is something I'd say, yeah, put the time and effort in, but if you are not a fan of putting on stickers or just hate stickers that peel up, you don't want to paint, this might be something to skip, honestly. I like this quite a bit, but I can understand why some people may not like it. But those have been my thoughts. If you have built this, and please let me know in the comments down below if your stickers like to peel up or what other issues you may have had. 
as long along with any benefits or enjoyable parts of the kit because like I said there are quite a few. If you have any questions before buying it absolutely let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. As always be sure to check out our other content here on the Gunpla Network and friends please stay safe and keep on building.